how do we select optimal working dogs? What are the factors that indicate that this dog is going to be excellent at this type of task? And maybe this dog would be better as a pet dog and less so, you know, for a working dog. So we have a couple of tasks that we're working on. One is a very uh, straightforward task, but we've previously found that it's been associated with problem behaviors, in particular stereotypic behavior, which is a highly repetitive uh, behavior such as like tail chasing. What we're doing is we set up a little lever, we press the lever, they get food. And essentially you can sort of think of it um, like, you know, the Coke machine. If you put your dollar in, you push the button, you get your Coke. Well, what happens when you put your dollar in, you push the button, no Coke comes out. So essentially this is the task we're giving to the dogs. Now they push the lever, nothing comes out. Coke machine's broken. What do you do? And what we found to be associated with problem behavior is the animal that is more likely to keep responding. Whenever you change the environmental situation, the Coke machine is now broken, that they have trouble identifying that something has changed and that they need to change their behavior appropriately. Another task is impulsivity, where we're looking at simple tasks that have been looked at in humans and other animals, but how impulsive are the dogs? Mm. With the idea is if the dog is very impulsive, then they're going to be more difficult and probably not as good for a long-term search task. For humans and ch for children, there's a marshmallow task. I could say, you know, here's one marshmallow. You could have this one marshmallow now, but if you wait until I come back in five minutes, I'll give you three marshmallows. And the question is, is well, which children can wait to get those three marshmallows versus the kids that just sort of take the marshmallow and pop it in their mouth right now? So we're looking at trying to identify similar things with the dogs by first training them. This one lever will give you one piece of food. This one lever will give you three pieces of food. And then they both get them immediately. So then the idea is that then the dogs will prefer those three pieces or six pieces, et cetera, the higher number of uh, pieces of food right away. And then what we'll do is every time they press that one, we're going to increase the amount of time they've got to wait until the food starts coming. So then we're going to see at what point where they say, you know, never mind, I'm just going to go with the one now, thank you. With the idea that the dogs that can wait longer for that larger, later reward will perhaps be more trainable and be better overall working dogs.